Hey everybody, welcome back to our channel. So today is Wednesday. It is May 30th and I am prepping for the low spin month and um, I'm going to be doing a low spin in June because I'm just low on funds in June. Um, really after I pay all my bills, we really don't have a lot left. So the place where I usually take the largest hit is groceries. And I'm looking at about $37 a week for groceries. And there's there's a Super Doubles event happening um, Sunday, Monday, and Tuesday. So it starts June 3rd, 4th, and 5th, which is the week before I actually have grocery money for that first week of June. So I may even have less than $37. I may take $7 from each week and do $28 for Super Doubles and then have $30 for each coming week. So with that being said, I have $24 today um, that I'm going to use to see what I can get. So I'm going to try to stay as low carb as possible. I am going to use my coupons because for me, coupons are just my equilibrium. You know, they help me be able to get things that I that can help my family. So I'm gonna take $24, I can't spend any more than that. I just have $24 and I may have a little bit of change. I'm not real sure what my change is. But I'm going into my favorite store, Harris Teeter. I have about an hour and a half before my workout class. So I'm going to see what I'm able to get. And I'm gonna take you guys along with me and kind of walk you a little bit through the process of how I am going through my grocery store. So I've already looked at my sales for the day. I already know what I'm really coming in here for. It is um, steamable veggies, which are on sale for five for five. And so far that's the only thing that's on my list is steamable veggies. And I do like to get a few of those if I possibly can because we are veggie heavy at our house, or we try to be. So I'm trying to do as less carbs as I can so come along with me and see what I'm able to get for my $24 and a little bit of change. Okay, so I'm thinking about getting the bananas. They're 49 cents a pound. Maybe the lettuce. So look what came in the mail today. How awesome is this? You guys, on one of the previous vlogs, I was sharing with you that my um, favorite pan that a friend of mine had given us when we first moved into the house was kind of seeing its last days. You know, it was in a little bit of disrepair and I just had it for so, so long and I was really trying to get a new one, but it was not in my budget at the moment. And so I went to my PO box today and this was in the box. How awesome is that? One of my lovely subscribers, Miss Andrea, felt um, compelled to send this to the kids and I, and we are so happy that she did that. We are appreciative. We are appreciative of everything that anyone ever sends us. If you're a coupon friend, 
Thank you so much. I got coupons this week and they helped us get some of our groceries. If you just send us a kind word in the mail, that always means the most to us. Whatever anyone has sent us, we do really appreciate this. But this is a 26 centimeter fry pan nonstick. And it is like a, it's a uh, cast iron. And I have wanted a cast iron skillet for a very long time. I grew up in the country on a farm. And my grandmother always cooked in cast iron. And I just have loved it. I don't have one that you can actually put in the oven. I would love to find one of those. I've not even found one at the Goodwill because people do value their cast iron. So I am very thankful. Andrea, thank you so much for thinking of us all the way from Australia. How sweet of you to do that. The kids and I really appreciate it. We don't take anything for granted. So we're back from our grocery uh, shopping trip. I hope you enjoyed some of the little tips and tricks that I gave you. If you are planning to do a Super Doubles shop trip, I'm going to be doing a prep for Super Doubles shop trip. It'll probably come out Friday, um, so be on the lookout for that. I'm actually going to be filming it after I film this video or edit this and upload. But let me share with you what I was able to get at the grocery store. So the first thing we were able to get were these. Um, these are just original English muffins. They were buy one get one free at $2.79. So I actually paid $1.40 for those. I did not have a coupon. However, they were half price. So what we're going to do, there are six of them. So that will be two a piece. But instead of eating one each, we're going to have a half. So that's actually going to give us four different meals. That'll cut our carbs down just a smidge, but at least it's cutting our carbs. The next thing I got were these sweet tart uh, sour gummies. And I know that we've talked about the candy before, but this was on such a good deal. And of course, my kids will not eat this. I'm sending this to the uh, Black Belt end of the year party. I'm going to take these four bags and maybe a couple other bags and fill up a huge uh, jar and let Jackson take this to the party for all of the kids. So these were $1.59. I had a 75 cents off coupon that doubled to $1.50. I paid nine cents a bag. The um, Harris Teeter brand steamable broccoli or any of their steamable veggies, the majority of them, I don't want to say all of them because I didn't look at everything, but the majority of the Harris Teeter brand steamables were five for five dollars or a dollar a piece. I did not have a coupon for any of those. So I got uh, one broccoli and then three broccoli cauliflowers and one corn. In order to cut carbs a little bit, I am gonna be cutting out corn maybe down to once or twice a month. So we're gonna see if that will help, help me any. I did pick up our standard vegetable oil spray. I usually uh, get one of these every time I go to the grocery store because I don't use any other types of oil. But this cooking spray was $1.49. Now here is where I ran into an excellent deal. Normally this Harris Teeter cheese is $3.37. I was on my way back to pick up something else and they had it on a special for $1.29. So normally because we do already have cheese, I would not have picked this up at $1.39. Uh, I mean but for $1.29, I absolutely did because I'm going to be prepping... I am prepping now for the low spin June because I'm going to be doing the low spin June um, with the frugal family food group. And so this is going to help in one of those meals. Um, so $1.29 a piece. That was, I just ran up on that deal. No coupon there. Then they had the uh, Butterball all natural turkey sausage and they also had turkey, uh, sausage patties. These were two for $5. I had a 55 cents off coupon that doubled to $1.10. So I paid $1.40 for this box. They had the um, Simply Juice, again was on sale, two for $5. I had a 75 cents coupon that doubled to $1.50. So I paid a um, dollar for this. And remember, eight ounces of this is one smart point. The next thing I was able to get, they had bananas on sale. They were 49 cents a pound. And here are a couple things that were not necessarily on my menu plan or meal plan for any reason, but I do have a purpose for them. So the Colgate toothpaste was um, two for three dollars or $1.50 each. And I had 50 cents coupons that doubled to a dollar. So I paid 50 cents a box. So here's my thing, especially you newbie couponers. If you can find, I for 
me toothpaste 50 cents or less is a stock up price for me so i had four coupons i picked up four boxes these may not necessarily stay at our house i will be doing a donation bag to the lady shelter and i may put these in there but then also i have my oldest son and i have my oldest daughter who live away from home and sometimes i uh, give them things as well so that three households i'm taking care of not to mention a woman's shelter that i'll be donating some things to as well the chips ahoy cookies so again carbs sweets that's kind of my thing but i got these thins and so these are a little bit less calories than the regular normal ones they were $4.29, buy one get one free, and I had a 75 cents off coupon. So my 75 cents off coupon doubled to $1.50. So that's gonna take it, it was a little bit less, it was a little bit more than $2.50 a bag. I meant $2.50 for both of them, so a dollar and some change each. So we're gonna keep the thin ones at home. However, we got um, two more of just a regular kind we're going to be going to two um, small groups next week. We're going to one on Wednesday night that has more kids, that's more kid friendly. And then we're going to our normal regular, I mean, our normal group that we go to on um, Thursday in June. So we're going to save a bag for our normal group and then a bag for the kids group. So I do have a purpose for those cookies. They won't be, these won't be staying in the house, but these will either put in lunches and we'll just break them down and do serving sizes worth and we'll count the smart points for those. So when I originally shared with you that I was going to the grocery store, I had $24. So my total for this transaction, I got 27 items. My total for this transaction was, let's see if it'll focus, okay. $28.22 so I went over by $4 but I just kept it so my manufacturer's coupons $7.80 double coupons $7.80 Vic savings $26.41 for a total coupon savings of $42.31 or 60% savings on this shop trip I used 12 of my 20 max coupons I got some fuel rewards. I got 43 fuel points and year to date, I have saved $2,152.93. So that is a grocery haul. I will be sharing again a um, meal plan coming up very, very soon, not on this video, but it will be coming in a couple videos. I'm also gonna be sharing with you how I'm working out of my pantry. And then I'm going to be again prepping for Super Double. So if you're a Harris Teeter shopper, and you want to prep for super doubles, I'm going to be doing that this week. So expect that video to come out on Friday. So thank you guys so much for stopping by our channel. If you like coupon videos or grocery haul videos, be sure and give us a thumbs up. It just says, hey, we like your video. If you're new to our channel, hit the red subscribe button. We love to keep you as a part of our YouTube community. Also hit the little bell. That way you never miss an upload from us. Thank you so much for stopping by our channel. And until the next time we grocery shop at Harris Teeter, bye now.